Hello, I'm Brian Watrous. I'm a VMware Certified Instructor and a Senior Technical Trainer with VMware Education. In this six-part video series, we will demonstrate how to upgrade from vSphere 4.1 to vSphere 5.5. In this first video, we will provide you an overview of the steps involved in upgrading from vSphere 4.1 to vSphere 5.5. In the following five videos, we will demonstrate the actual steps involved in performing the upgrade. Whenever performing an in-place upgrade of an infrastructure, it's prudent to back up the infrastructure before actually performing the upgrade. So the first step in upgrading to vSphere 5.5 is to back up the configuration data and settings of all vSphere components. This includes your existing vCenter server, your ESX and ESXi hosts, and virtual machines. The second step is to verify that all of the VMware solutions and plugins that your infrastructure currently depends upon are compatible with vSphere 5.5. The third step is to verify that your infrastructure meets VMware's hardware and software requirements. We will discuss these requirements in more detail in a few moments. These first three steps all take place before you begin the upgrade. Step four is where you begin the actual steps involved in upgrading to vSphere 5.5. You begin by upgrading the vCenter server. Step five is to upgrade vSphere Update Manager. Doing so will enable you to easily upgrade your hosts. Step six is to use Upgrade Manager to upgrade your hosts. Step seven is to upgrade your virtual machines to have the latest version of virtual hardware and to upgrade VMware tools. And step eight is to upgrade your existing VMFS3 data stores to VMFS5. One of the steps we outlined in the previous slide is to verify that your infrastructure meets VMware's minimum hardware and software requirements. Part of your infrastructure is your vCenter server. This slide outlines the hardware and software requirements specifically for vCenter. There are two versions of vCenter server the traditional version of vCenter server runs on top of Windows. The newer version of vCenter is implemented as a virtual appliance, which runs on top of Linux. The hardware and software requirements outlined on this slide are for the traditional Windows-based vCenter server. The vCenter server requires a minimum of two 64-bit cores, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes of storage, and a gigabit NIC. Note that there are specific versions of Windows Server that are supported by vSphere 5.5. In this demonstration, we will leverage the default database, which is bundled with vCenter Server. In addition to the default Express database, vCenter 5.5 also supports Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, and IBM DB2. The physical server that ESXi 5.5 runs on must be equipped with two or more 64-bit cores, four gigabytes of RAM, and directly attached local storage or SAN-based storage. This is one video in a six-part series of videos which demonstrate how to upgrade from vSphere 4.1 to vSphere 5.5. Be sure to watch all the videos in this series. And visit the vSphere product page at vmware.com for valuable resources such as technical white papers, technical documentation, customer case studies, communities of interest, as well as other video demonstrations. The following offerings are available from VMware Education for vSphere.